Ostrehu by Imploding Colon, read by Deathlight, Chapter 140, so... A deep rumbling echoed through the metal corridors beneath West New Ring. The dream had swiftly escorted the group of young foals up the stairwell. <laughs> Who was that metal stallion just now? A young filly stammered. Some ponies who's awesome. Rainbow said. And who are you? A different brand of awesome. She replied, then gulped ahead of the group so they could reach the top of the vertical chamber. Stick with me, kids. There seems to be an awful lot of noise coming from the streets. Oh boy! She hissed and slid to the stop, holding her wings out to block the group of foals. Just as a flickering aura of red light fell upon the emerging group, there were flames across several groups tops of the western districts. Magical beams of light were flying from one half of the capital to the next. Cannon volley after cannon volley lit the building on fire and set several chunks of the wall flying in every which direction. The Darkstinian city had become a veritable war zone. Does this sort of crap happen all the time when I'm not looking? It appears though the unicorns have engaged in full on civil war. Till he said, quite suddenly there. The foals drawn back with a gasp, as did Rainbow Dash. Whoa, yeesh, Steely! With all those metal gizmos on you, don't you think I'll have room for a bell? Yeah. What happened to Mr. Mean Mask? I thought you were doing the epic battle of the ages with him. The Duke is much a coward, as he is a Sorcerer Supreme. Stilteeth hummed. His metal limbs and torso had several dents and scorch marks. Regardless, he managed to stand upright as he calmly gazed over the burning madness beyond the mouth of the stairwell. I would have throttled him severely had he not teleported away at the last second. Where the hell do you think he went? Any number of places that are far safer than here. By the goddess, this is not at all what White Mane intended. White Mane? Rainbow Dash looked out as the chunk of burning well fell to the courtyard. Summoning a shriek from the beyond frightened falls. Right. What I wish to know is what sparked the fall in conflict to begin with. Yeah, well. Rima scratched the back of her head and smiled nervously. I may be kind of sort of sent one of the falls as a messenger to Mintel. Let them know that Duke and the other ponies of the Western District were doing terrible things to children. You mean to tell me that you're the provocation for this? Stilty's aquamarine eyes glinted. What? Didn't you know? I thought they sent you! No pony sent me but her majesty. Stilty said, grinding his teeth. And that was to protect you. Now I see, I was really supposed to be protecting every pony else from you. Well excuse me, Robo Horse! Rainbow hissed back. But if you've seen what I've seen... I have seen what you've seen. Stilty the interjected. I started trailing you 40 minutes ago after you abandoned the suite in the governor's house. Personally, I hoped to go about the revelation of the Duke's nefarious action for the great Delmore's subtlety. Yeah. Rainbow Dash gulped, looking once more over the burning rooftops. She wasn't focused on the missiles being hurled through the air. She wasn't focused on the chunks of debris flying skyward from the heavy impacts. She wasn't even looking at the armored stallions running back and forth in desperation to cool off the flames. The one thing that caught her eye was the lavender glow. The same beam of light that was forever coalescing into the heart of the pit just beyond the wall. Still steely, there are some things that even you can't see. Rainbow Dash lifted up on flapping wings. You're right, I did start this mess. But I think that's the reason why White Mane sent me here. To sow chaos? No, to fix it. She turned and gave him a weathered smile. But I do happen to know a thing or two about chaos. I don't understand. That's fine, just sit there, protect the kids. And don't get any more rusty, you're walking your refrigerator. Wait, you're leaving? Stuthi shouted above the noise of battle. More like I'm just arriving. She beat her wings faster. Don't throw your metal head off. I think I know just the thing to fix all this mess. Stay frosty. She spun to the side, twirled, and flew through the burning battle. Rainbow Dash! Stuthi growled after her. A filly shivered and clung to one of his steaming limbs. 
Is she really going to help us, mister? Stuti's nostrils flared. She had better. I can't buck this group's way through an entire civil war, no matter how strong my prosthetics are. Up ahead, Rimbadash is winging left and right, dodging ribbons of mana blasts and surging over cannon volleys. The shouts and angry rabble of guard ponies lit the air beneath her, punctuated by explosions and crackles of thunderous magic. Floating spheres sparkled in Zat Patch Rainbow Dash, zooming towards an infernal destination. A large bulb of burning energy flew into a monorail track. Sending chunks of metal and concrete, sailing Rainbow's way. She expertly dodged the flying debris, spinning and twirling swiftly towards the pits. The love of her light intensified, almost distracting her as two more beams of mana shot past her. She dodged the blast, dipping through a smoldering cloud of ash, and dove swiftly down the gaping pits. Surrounded in blackness once again, she descended. The sounds of battle echoed above and behind her. Reverberating in the abysmal holes, deathly acoustics. Finally, she landed on a black ring of metal, bordering the pointy center of the obelisk. It took all the strength from her insides to avoid looking at the young corpses lying at the bottom of the chamber around her. Instead, she searched the cylindrical walls of the place. Somewhere along the circumference, she found the source of the lavender glow once again. Oh uh, yeah, but of course. She muttered with a brief smile. There were two symbols on the wall, two very familiar symbols. That of a hoofprint ellipsing a solar crest. The lines were etched solidly into the metal surface, and they glowed with a bright energy that only she could see. Maybe some pony should start paying me for this. She raised a hoof towards the Omega symbol. The coat hairs on her back stood on end, but before she made contact, a bright pulse of crimson light emanated from behind her, followed by four heavy sets of hooves landing on the metal floor. A bright hum filled the bottom of the pits, the unmistakable sound of a mana rifle being charged. Intimidating interjection. Stay right where you are, or I shall reduce your skull to ribbons on each other. Grimbrash slowly, calmly spun about. All she saw was a gas mask, and she smirked. Heh, <laughs> oh no, here we go.